Hey, what's going on guys? Lawson here, and it is early in the morning, but just probably three days ago, got my mystery tackle box saltwater series right here. So, I'm going to do an unboxing video of the mystery tackle box, and then maybe hopefully today or tomorrow I'll be able to get out and do my MTB saltwater series slammage. So I'm going to just bust this bad boy open and kind of talk about what we're dealing with here and how I'd like to use these lures and what my tactics probably will be when it comes down to uh, getting out in the water with these things. And if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it is a subscription-based company where you pay, you know, if you pay month to month, it's $15 a month, and they send you a box full of random new lures for certain fish you're targeting and the saltwater series is geared towards I believe redfish, trout, flounder, snook, and maybe striped bass. So we're gonna bust this open, talk about some of the sweet lures gotten here, and talk about how we're gonna use them. Alright. Open it up. Every box you have your little uh one sheet whatever you want to call it that kind of gives you the information about everything you're going to be throwing so we'll start off with all right here we got the potbelly dude bucktail jig by wahoo fishing products right there focus on that That'll be a good jig for fishing under bridges and docks. I'll mainly probably fish this underneath a bridge and just slowly bounce it off the bottom for some big snook. You know, I, I've never used this red and yellow color, the little red painted head, but red and white are great colors because it's the contrasting of the colors between the two, and I'm sure red and yellow will work just as good. Alright, what do we got next on the shopping block here? Alright. Soft Sardines by Mirror Lure. Right there. That's what we're dealing with. Ten pack. It's a soft plastic. It's a soft plastic little uh, paddle tail like bait that I'll probably rig up with a jig head right here. It's a nice clear color, so I'll probably use this in very clear blue water, you know, something this kind of really well represents a glass minnow, or even rig this on a jig head and pitch it underneath dock lights would do excellent. There, it's got a nice fat little paddle tail. That'll be an excellent bait to rig with a jig head and pitch underneath docks, pitch against mangrove lines, it'll work well for some small snook, even some jack will hit that. See how it does. Moving right along. Sort through this confetti in here. Sticker. Alright, Voodoo Shrimp. Voodoo Shrimp by Egret Baits right there. So I'm going to zoom in on these to show you them. These are an excellent bait, so I hear I've never used them. I'm going to use these shrimp just like I use my all my artificial shrimp DOAs. I'm going to pitch them underneath docks, mangroves, and just really slowly bounce them out. And I'm sure I'll be able to pull some snook and some big snapper out of the docks with these things. I've heard they work really well, you know. Some people will prefer them over DOAs, but we'll see how it goes. Um... Two more things in here. Alright. Z-Man scented jerk shad right there. I'll pull one of these out. These Z-Man baits, you know, I really have never used them before. Until I got the mystery tackle box. Right there. It's got just a uh, straight fallen tail too. So I'll rig this up probably with a weightless, a uh, weightless wide gap hook, 
and that will do me the job for that. Even might put something weighted on here, but I'll probably just do a weightless wide gap hook and kind of just dance it across the top or subsurface. You know, this is great. You could throw this open water, throw this against mangroves, throw it against docks, and when you have it rigged with a wide gap hook, you really don't ever get snagged. And these Z-Man baits are pretty cool because they're super, super tough. I don't know what they make out of that makes them so tough, but it's pretty cool. And this is interesting right here. Last item I got a impact spring keeper hook right here. So, let's zoom in on that. Mustad, they make good stuff. Kind of getting a glare right there. Alright. But, it's kind of weird because I've never really seen a, a hook designed like this, you know, because it's got the screw in heads, you know, for a weighted bait hook, but it's a weightless hook. I'm not really sure what the great point of that is. I guess easier to rig if you don't like doing the through rigging. But this will work great. I can even use this on my Z-Man shads I was just showing you. Or anything that I want to rig weightless. You know, right here I have a DOA airhead. This will be great to rig weightless on one of these things with the screw in head. It will provide a lot of uses. So that is what we are dealing with here, and hopefully I'll be able to get in the water either today or tomorrow and post a MTB slammage of maybe some snook, jack, snapper, bluefish, whatever I can find to bite. So I'll keep you posted and hopefully I'll get that slam. Peace. What is going on? Lawson here. We are out in the water today and we're doing a Mystery Tackle Box Inshore Series Slam. So, got a few of my poles rigged up right there with some of the uh, lures out of the MTB box and we're going to try to see if we can make it happen, you know, be targeting snook, snapper, jack, whatever is biting. Let's see if we can make it happen and get a slam. It is almost 5 o'clock, so I only got about 3 hours to try and make it happen, but we'll see what we can do. Check it out. Alright, moved locations, now throwing the Z-Man Fluke. Whatever you want to call it, jerk bait fluke. I did not get a fish on the jig yet, the feather, but I'm gonna come back to it, see if I can break something, break the, uh, get started with something on this thing. There it is. First one. I'm sure it'll swing off right here. Mm -hmm. These are pretty fish nonetheless. Little common snook. We'll get them going back in the water. We'll leave them up too long here. I mean the sea man shad, jerkbait, whatever this is, is done, and so is the mustad hook, so let's see if we can get on something else here. Alright, got the mirror lure rigged up right here on a Charlie's jig head, that's not part of the uh, MTB, but I need something to throw it on, it is a clear holographic jig head, it should work great, it looks awesome, I'll show you the package right here, that's what we're dealing with. Fish, it feels like. I don't think it's fish even though it's hooked yet. Another nice little healthy snook. Turn them this way for you. And that one came on the mirror lure. So we're down three, two to go right there. And release this guy right over. I'll release him on this side with the sun. Oh, 
there he goes. All right, chugging along with our slam here. Now got the voodoo shrimp rigged up. Show you what we're dealing with here. Right there, purple structure's tail. I don't know how I feel about this color, but we'll see how it does. I didn't even feel it on. That's a jack. Right? Yeah, jack. Swallow this one pretty well too. Let's see if I can flip them in here. Jack never wants to cooperate. Okay. Just a little guy right here. But he's got that way down this mouth. He's just trying to swallow it. Here it comes. Wow, he wasn't even hooked. He just had the thing swallowed. There you go. That one was on the uh, mambo right there. Or the, uh, what is this thing called? The voodoo shrimp. So we'll let this guy go. Off he goes like a bullet. All right, on our last item here, this feather. It's uh, taken some abuse earlier from when I was pitching underneath the bridge. I was banging it against the bridge pilings. It's a little heavy for what I typically use for dock fishing. But we're gonna see if we can get away with it and maybe complete this slam a lot quicker than I thought I would. I've only been at it for about an hour now. I've already gotten four out of five lures knocked down. All right, well, I guess that uh, ends my MTB slam right there. All right, so the MTB slam, four fists complete, essentially. I knocked out four of the lures that were sent to me, and I lost the final one I was trying to catch a snook on underneath something on someone's dock, and I couldn't get it back out. So hopefully you guys liked the video. It was cool testing out and doing some new lures like that that I've never thrown any of those before. So that was fun. Hope you guys liked the video. Check it next time.